Welcome to How I Became the Scrapman, Part 6. 2006 was a very, very busy year in so many ways. And uh, 2007 was shaping up to start the same way. In the January, I received a telephone call from a lady called Anne Antonelli, who was the owner, manager of the Hafod Centre in Chlanroost in North Wales. And she wanted to know if I would exhibit my sculptures there. And again, as I've already said, North Wales is a place that I love to go. I've always felt very accepted by the people. They've always been very genuine and very lovely. And I would recommend North Wales to anyone. Wonderful, wonderful place. Anyhow, went to the Hafford Centre. <coughs> And the exhibition there was in like two, two rooms of an old converted farmhouse. And against the whitewashed walls, my sculptures looked really, really good. There was a garden area outside and Anne spoke with me and said that if she could get funding from the Welsh Arts Council, would I be able to basically give up the job which I was doing and concentrate on building a completely steel garden from the ground up, sheet steel and create flowers, trees, grass, plants, animals, birds etc etc and of course that is a project which I would have loved to have done and still would love to do if ever I got the opportunity because I think it would be such a wonderful thing for me to do and for people to say see I uh, waited patiently but really heard nothing back. But the exhibition there went very well, sold quite a few pieces and she asked me if I would return in six months time and exhibit again, which of course was no problem uh, and I did. I then received a call from Rotherham Art Gallery in South Yorkshire. The Rotherham Art Gallery asked again, would you hold an exhibition? To which you get, of course, yes. Uh, that was a room, and I think we had 65 exhibition pieces. And again, it was very well received. Uh, the press were there interviewing me about this, that, and the other. And it was a very interesting place and a very, uh, very nice exhibition, really. Then came the Akeldra Centre again with the uh, workshops. And again, met a lot of lovely people there. This was Easter time. Lovely to be there again on the island of Anglesey. Loved every minute of it. I had noticed over the months that I was becoming quite tired. Uh, because not only doing the sculpture, I was also working as a mental health support worker. And I was working a bank worker in palliative, palliative care, looking after the sick and dying. And everything kind of... My days were long days doing everything that I was doing. This, along with um, providing eight different galleries at the time, with sculptures month by month, alternating. It was a, a hard task to keep up with. Anyway, I plodded on plodded on, the summer was a little bit quieter, then August the call again from the Okeldra, can you come down and do the workshops? Said, yes, absolutely fine. And while I was there they asked, Mike Gould asked me, can you do us an exhibition? Have you got the stuff? Have you got the time? And I thought, well, I'll take some annual leave from work, go and set the exhibition up. And he wanted the exhibition to start in uh, January and for it to end in the middle of February. So I started creating things and getting things ready. The August workshop there went very well. Again, every day was absolutely packed out with different people. Uh, it was a great experience. 
I continued working on a monthly basis with the Yorkshire itinerants, the group I mentioned, uh, who worked for different charities every month. And I continued with local craft and art exhibitions in the West Yorkshire area. I was invited then also to go and do exhibit in Skipton, which I did in Skipton Town Hall. And that was, uh, again, a very good, very productive uh, time. I enjoyed it very much and then there came the Rope Walk Gallery which was in Lincolnshire just over the other side of the Humber Bridge. Again it is a lovely gallery, uh, very well worth seeing and uh, I had a good time there. Sales were okay, not brilliant but they were okay. carried on working. I did a, a Christmas fair for the RSPB. I think that was in York University if I remember correctly. That was a two day event. Lots of sales again, lots of interest. Really, really good. Christmas time came and as everyone does I just chilled out and relaxed with the family. Thought of nothing really. But kept feeling that I was getting a bit tired. I'd come home from work and go to sleep. I didn't have as much energy, energy as I used to have. And then February came and it was February the 9th. And I went to a football match with my father. To watch Huddersfield Town play Swindon Town. And Huddersfield won 1-0 that day. And I've often wondered if it was Huddersfield winning that actually gave me what, what, what happened to me. I was walking home from the football when all of a sudden it was almost curtains drawn, good nights Vienna. I had a heart attack and I managed, goodness knows how, because the pain was intense, I managed to walk home and uh, I had to go home because I had two dogs to look after. So I got in the house, rang my son, I said, look man, I think I'm having a heart attack, can you please come look after the dogs for me? Which he agreed to do. Then I rang the ambulance. The ambulance arrived and rushed me off to Huddersfield Royal Infirmary. Uh, I was tapped on the shoulder by someone who said, do you see that doctor there? They have just saved your life. And I was rushed again from there, Huddersfield to Leeds, the LGI, where I was operated on, and I had two stents fitted. And within two days, I was back in Huddersfield Royal Infirmary, and within three days, I was back home in my own house, feeling very well indeed, amazingly well. The doctor came to see me and said, your sculptures must stop. It's too heavy, too arduous, and the conditions you're working at, brilliant. So there became a time when I reluctantly had to give up doing the sculptures. And I didn't do any sculptures for around, oh gosh, 10, 10 years did nothing at all for 10 years and then one day I decided that I would start again and that will be the next episode of this How I Became the Scrap Man and uh, I'm just so glad I did because it's been again a wonderful experience just to get out there amongst people and enjoy what I'm doing. Thank you all once again for listening. Namaste. Take care and look after yourselves. Bye.